Hello everyone, Lawrence here with the Sahara Gaming Sahara Mic 2, also called the SD2420. This is an add-on microphone that's available for around 50 UK pounds. Um, so I guess that's what, 60 euros or something um, for those in Europe, although you may need to pay import taxes these days. Now, why should you get one of these things? Well, basically we all love decent headphones. These are my DT990 1990 Pros and they are awesome headphones but they don't have a microphone. The thing is if you buy a headset, especially gaming headsets, they sound absolutely horrible so you don't want to get one of those, you just want a good pair of headphones and then add your own mic. Now Sahara Gaming is of course not the only one in this business. There's of course the mod mic, this thing's been around for ages. This thing is actually a four-year-old mod mic for business. More about that later. And in this video, I'll also be comparing it to this, what, six, seven, eight-year-old 10 euro Zalman clip-on microphone. I'll also, of course, compare it to this guy here, a sock over a normal microphone, which is what I use for most of my recordings these days. And I don't know, maybe we'll add some more microphones into a comparison. Now, the Sahara Mic 2 is, as I said, quite cheap. Uh, it's slightly cheaper than the mod mics, so if you are on a budget, that is uh, definitely something to consider. Inside this box, you get the microphone, which is attached to a 3 meter long cable with a 3.5 millimeter jack. More about that later. Get some cable clips and extra adhesives. Uh, what's really nice is in this box, you get a different box. A Sahara gaming carrying pouch which barely fits the microphone but it fits so that's nice opens up just like that and in here you get an alcohol prep pad so you can degrease the headphones you want to you know stick your microphone to you also get five more sticky pads and some plastics to attach the cable along with an additional point to actually connect your microphone to your headset. It's cool that you get two of these. So the way this works is you have your good headphones, you have your microphone. I already taped the plastic thing to the headset or headset to be and you just push it on slight rotation and it's stuck in place and now you can adjust your microphone a little bit but I recommend just keeping it straight that's the way it should be anyway. Um, now this push down and twist mechanism is pretty good however there is also a screw thread on the top here and what happens is when you push it you're also loosening up or tightening down on the screw thread so it's something to be a little bit wary of um, but it's not a big problem however this is their patented system oh here you can see their patent applications i'd be surprised if they actually grant the patent on this but they have a patent application the thing is what mod mic does in my opinion is a lot easier and I think these guys do have a patent so that's why Sahara Gaming went with a different system I guess um, but mod mic just uses a magnet so you can actually flip your headphone or your microphone up rotate it to flip it down and just pull it to detach and I think this is a slightly more convenient system actually but if mod mic patents this then of course Sahara Gaming and others can't use it so as I said you get some additional sticky pads and a sticky mount in the box but you also get these little S clips uh, which my camera is definitely oh it is going to focus on it that's cool and the idea is you just take this clip uh, clip it to your headphone wire and then clip it to your microphone wire and now it's like one wire a bit heavy and a bit bulky but that's the idea the problem with that is they they do market it as being able to quickly remove the uh, microphone and once you clip it to the cable you can no longer quickly remove it now of course the single most important thing with headsets and their microphones is how they sound. So let's actually set up a bit of a test rig here. I'll use the Sahara Gaming microphone. I'll also use a four-year-old mod mic. Um, the reason this one is for business is because it came with an additional sound card, whereas the Sahara microphone doesn't, but we can just attach this one as well. Make sure it's about the same distance from my mouse, so it's a fair test. And then I'll also clip on the little uh, Zalman clip-on microphone. Um, down the cable somewhere so we can do a bunch of comparisons. The way these microphones work is they have a 3.5 millimeter jack to record straight into your computer. You can use the front port if you have a desktop or the back of your computer. I would recommend using the, the back ports because you get less noise that way. However, the main thing that will limit your sound quality 
is actually your computer and your sound card that's built into your computer. So in order to um, deal with that, I'll be recording everything using this Zoom H1 microphone interface. This is a field recorder, but you can also plug in a microphone and then use it as an interface to go straight to your PC. I'll use the gain on this Zoom microphone. So all the microphones are at minus six decibels when I'm at my loudest. One major thing to keep in mind is not every computer has a dedicated microphone cable and a dedicated headphone cable. So what I think Sahara should really do is include one of these boys. This is a three euro cable, although I paid nine euros for it at the local computer shop because I'm not very patient. Um, but this will split up a four pole connector like you have in your phone or in most laptops. And um, it will allow you to plug these in like so. I think I just did it the wrong way around, but you get the idea. This will allow you to run both your headphones and your microphone on a single port to your laptop, most likely. And I really think it's a shame that Sahara doesn't include a cheap little cable like this. All right, you are now listening to the Sahara Gaming Microphone. Settings in Audacity is Windows Direct Sound over the Zoom H1N set to just over seven on the gain. Recording mono audio. Let's start with a few seconds of silence so you can hear if there's any signal noise. And back to me talking gibberish as I also try to type some random letters on a very clicky keyboard just so you know how well it deals with noise isolation. All right, we're now using the Antlion mod mic. It needs a little bit more gain, just over eight on this H1N. Again, a few seconds of silence. And back to me talking gibberish while also typing some random letters in the background on this keyboard. All right, now for the Zalman microphone clipped to my headphone cable. This is by far the cheapest one in the list. It also requires just about the same amount of gain as the Sahara gaming microphone. A few seconds of silence. And we'll go back to talking gibberish while typing on this keyboard. All right, now just for giggles, this is the Taxstar SCG598, a 25-ish Euro shotgun microphone, which again connected to the Zoom H1N. A few seconds of silence. And back to typing random jitter, this time with only one hand. All right, next up is my Fifine K669, I think it is, a microphone. I took off the sock that I usually use and there's no post-processing happening to any of this sound. Again, a few seconds of silence. And now back to typing random junk. All right then, so you've heard the Sahara Gaming Microphone along with a few others recorded into the Zoom H1N along with, of course, my sock covered Fifine um, USB microphone. Let me know in the comments which one you think is best sounding and most convenient. For me personally, I'll go with the USB condenser microphone or maybe even a XLR connected uh, microphone, big condenser microphone that's not mounted to my headphones. That said, I do definitely see the appeal to a lot of people in having a headset-like configuration, especially if you're gaming um, in front of a television, for example, where you can't set up a bunch of microphone stands and all that sort of stuff. But for me here in a static situation behind a computer screen, uh, I still prefer the USB condenser mic. Guys, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. This is a brand new channel. It's my first video on this channel and I need all the support I can get to grow this channel so I can do a bunch of audio reviews. If you want to support the channel before my AdSense is activated, there's also a Patreon link in the description down below. So check that out if you want to. It's only one euro a month. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.